What's up everybody, it's Goose. I'm out here prepping wood to put walls up on my barn. Uh, this is, these are cedar slabs that I, uh, I made with my Alaskan chainsaw mill um, from trees I cut down on my property. Here's the, the stack of wood that I'm prepping right now. Um, so I'm going to show y'all real quick how I'm turning this into boards that are ready to go. Um, so first thing I do, I got my little setup. I got I'm on saw horses. I got uh, these two buys to clamp my wood down to to hold it so it doesn't move when I'm cutting. And I'm cutting it with the skill saw with the brand new uh, good Diablo wood blade. Um, so what I do first is find my better side. I've already done it. Um, you look, see there's, there's a little crack here, but it's too far out so it doesn't matter. Um, the other side has this crack, which it's not that bad, um, but you flip it over and what was I seeing a minute ago? Uh, I thought it came through more, but it comes through over here. So this crack is on both sides. It doesn't go all the way, but it's right here and then it's, oh, them are it's two different ones. Oh, I guess this is what I was looking at. There's kind of a little crack here. Anyway, I'm gonna pick my best side. I'm gonna make a mark on each side as far over as I can. Um, I want mostly red wood. This red wood is very rot resistant. The, uh, the yellow wood or white wood, whatever you wanna call it, it'll rot and this red wood won't. So I'm gonna make marks inside the, the red wood and try to make it where um, I only get, after I cut it off, there's only going to be redwood on this side. Um, after I make that mark and that cut, then I'll measure over. I'll see how far I can go over without hitting uh, the white wood or crack or bad wood or whatever. It depends on every piece. Um, I've had some that were kind of bad and I just set them to the side for now. Because um, I'm trying to decide what, what I want to do with them. Um, <clears throat> anyway... I'm going to make a mark, pop a line, cut it, uh, measure over however far, um, get as much, get it as thick as I can without keeping any of this uh, bad wood, the cracks, or the, the white wood. Um, so I'm just going to show you all this piece. I'm going to go ahead and clamp it and mark it and cut it and flip it, and I'm just going to show you all how I'm turning this into this real quick. Um, I'm not going to show installing any of it today. That'll, that'll be a different video, so... I'm just making sure where I'm going to cut is uh, hanging over my my boards that's holding the wood so I don't cut into my, my two bys I'm using to hold the wood. Um, get it far enough over here. Take my chop box. Um, get into the red wood for the most part. I got a little white wood down there. That's fine. A little's fine. I'm not worried about it. Um, probably won't rot anyway because it's under cover. Um, make sure I like it. Looks good. chalk box doesn't make a line at the end so I'm just marking it out with my pencil make sure you like it before you cut it once you cut it it's done all right
right. Now I'm gonna measure and see how far I can go without hitting bad wood. Um, I got six inches and a quarter right here before I get into the white wood. Um, I got this crack right here, right at six and a half inches. So I might do six and a half because I'm fine with the quarter inch of white wood at the top. Um, that cracks right at six and a half. Six and a half puts me barely in the white wood here. Um, I'm all in the red down here and I'm gonna be all in the red down here. Down here, I could go up to seven inches, but I don't think I like seven inches up here. Um, seven inches right here is going to get into the crack. Um, look at the other side. Yeah, seven inches will get into that crack. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I want to do that. So, I'm liking six and a half. I think I'm going to do six and a half. Uh, yep, I like that. So, pull over up here, very end, six and a half inches. Good mark. Go down here and mark seven, or six and a half inches down here, too. If anybody's wondering, I beat on the chalk box like that to get the, the chalk on the string. So, if anybody's wondering, not everybody knows that trick. All right, nice and tight. Got it on my lines. Hop it. Clamp it. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. Make another cut. point out one thing um, that's the finished product um, like I said I got these two buys to clamp to and I just I use I stacked them to make them heavier so it, it's not moving around um, but as you can see here I got them back on the saw horses um, several inches four or five inches uh, on both sides and that's so when I cut the piece off and it drops it hits right here um, 
if you didn't do that it'd be hanging all down it, i'm kind of zoomed in too far hold on um if you didn't do that as you're making the cut down here will be hanging down and you could get your your blade in a bind and you really don't want to do that um so putting that there when i'm cutting it just drops down and lands on that and that holds it and keeps my blade from getting in a bind and then once i cut the end off um, it just lands there and it, it doesn't get in the way so that's my my little setup and this is my my wood i'm prepping it's looking pretty good um but that's it i just want to show y'all uh prepping a piece of this wood uh how i'm getting it ready um i'll be making a video soon i'm gonna put the back wall on first i don't i don't know when i'll get the side walls on i need to mill more wood up so we'll it'll be a little while um it just depends when i get time to mill more wood up but that's all i'll see y'all later goose out <laughs>